Speak Student. Michel Foucault à la chemo. Discipline, discourse, and power. Bonjour, mon ami. So nice of you to join me today. I was just finishing up my lunch with a friend. Take care, Celine. I'll call you. Give my best to René. My name is Michel Foucault, and I am a philosopher and social theorist. I'm also a singer, but that's really more just something I do in the shower. La 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 la. I'd like to talk to you about a few things that I feel passionately about. You know when I'm getting passionate because my cheeks get all rosy. Trust me, my cheeks get a rosy a lot. First is the concept of discipline. I'm not talking about parents who spank their children or leather-clad women with whips and stools, which is what your children will grow up to be if you hit them anyway. Mais no, I'm really referring to disciplinary power wielded by institutions that are backed by the state. The whole big brother thing, except、uh, when the rules they want you to follow have been deeply ingrained in you by these institutions, so they don't even、uh, need a big monitor with roving eyes to keep tabs on you. They know that you are going to automatically turn on your left turn signal as you approach the intersection, even though there isn't another car for miles.、Mm, what do you think? If they wanted to send you in a trance to pick up the dry cleaning, they could probably manage that too. The use of discipline has made us mindless, obedient sheep, and that is bad. You get the joke there, my friend. Here's another, and I can feel my cheeks getting rosy already. Discourse. Discourse includes all written and spoken examples of communication. We're talking speech, love notes, sign language. Vulgar gestures, you know, you know that one. Semaphore, everything. But all discourse is tied to and connected with all other discourse. So, unfortunately, all of the power hierarchies in society are bound by language and can't really escape them. Last but not least, let's chat about power for a second. Not every type of power can just be recharged when it starts flashing red. There is another type of power, the power that so encompasses the human mind that it can actually enact a significant change on a person's personality, on their thoughts, their feelings. Power controls our will. There is the power of the state. Which is felt when tax times rolls around, even if you're a, a Democrat. There is the power of people over one another, which is felt when one demands that their fiance sign a prenuptial agreement. If you love me, you wouldn't make me sign that. Power is addictive and dangerous. Dangerous, my friends. It can lead to manipulation and domination, and we're right back to discipline. Well, that's just about enough for today. Now, if you will excuse me, I'm going to go ice my cheeks. Ooh. La 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 la.